hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. Weapon of the week! <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Russell here. Still the voice of hardcore boxing. Still the original founder of Porky's Corner with my mate Rico. It's that time of the week again I'm afraid. You know what time that is don't you? Hey, it's the time of week where me, Russell, AKA Porky, I decide who's weapon of the week. And this week, I've decided that there's only going to be one man that's going to win weapon of the week. Do you know who that man is? Tesco Joe Gallagher. You weapon. I've, I've decided you, you're going to take the award on this week, Joe. Because of how long you left it before you threw the towel in with Scott Quigg. Now, I could understand if Scott Quigg had won one round and he was in the fight, but Scott Quigg <laughs> retreating against a non puncher. That just shows you that he's very limited, very limited in them situations. Now, fighting against the Southpaw, younger, fresher, stronger, quicker, all that kind of thing. There's got to come a time where a trainer saves somebody. I thought Dave Caldwell called it perfectly. And I'm not a big, I'm not Dave's biggest fan, but I actually think he's a good pundit. God, I had to say that through gritted teeth, didn't I? Thought he'd come across okay. I'm not into all that no, 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 talking like he's uh, from Rotherham. No, no. Tony, no, Tony. Now, we're not making this video about Dave Cole. This video is about Joe Gallagher. You're a weapon. You're a weapon, Joe. And if you've got a problem with me saying that you're weapon of the week, it's simple. Pick up the phone. And you, can, and you can come on channel live and tell me why you shouldn't be called weapon of the week. Because when you look, when you're letting some when you're letting people get flogged, like you're letting them get flogged, Joe, it's not good, is it? Scott Quigg were getting flogged, right? And it's not the first time, is it? We've seen it with... We've seen it with Marcus Morrison a couple of times where they were getting smashed to pieces, and I mean smashed. We've seen it with... Who was the other guy? Beefy Smith. He was getting knocked about, wasn't he? Uh, against Canelo. I don't know, maybe... Maybe it might be a bit harsh to stop it, but... You were giving him all wrong instructions in corner. I don't know if you're just doing it for TV cameras, Joe, or to make it about the Joe Gallagher show. It's all about Joseph. It isn't all about you, Joseph. It's about the fighters. And you should be ashamed what you did to Scott Quigg. But like I said, you were letting Paul Smith get him tonked all over. And I mean tonked. By Andre Ward. I mean, Swifty Smith. You, I've seen him get good irons on your shift. The Morrison one did it for me, though. That should have been stopped. And then this Quig one. I mean, Quig never won a round. So after seven rounds, 
It's a 12 round fight, right? Here's to all you people who can't do maths. 12, 12, right? So seven rounds down with five to go. So you've lost seven, seven, yeah? There's five rounds to go. So if you win every one of them five, you're still gonna lose the fight. So to win, you need a knockout and Quig couldn't lay a glove. He couldn't lay a glove on John O'Carroll. He couldn't do it. He couldn't, he couldn't hit him. So why didn't you pull him out after the seventh round? Hey, eh? Quig had pleaded, oh, you can't do this, Joe. You just said, look, this is your last fight, son. You're going off into the sunset now. Should have pulled him out. Lomachenko against Kroller. We all know what happened there, don't we? Crawler should have been stopped earlier. That should have been stopped, sorry. Earlier, the towel didn't come in. What were the other one as well now? Crawler Linares. Crawler took a shellicking in the first fight. And you, and you screamed Blue Murder and you worked yourself through all the YouTube channels, Joe. Putting yourself about there, being busy. We couldn't get you off the internet, could we? Every time anybody walked by you, we a camera, you were jumping in on it. But yet when Jose Burton got beat against Frank Bullioni, you didn't even give an interview after the fight, did you? Because you only want to be known as the guy who wants to speak to when, when this fighter wins. When your fighter wins, Joe, all we see is you on YouTube. When they lose, we don't see you. So you're a fair weather friend. You're one of them fair weather friends, you Joe. That's what you are. I'm telling you what you are. And if you've got a problem with me, Joe, like I just said, come see me. I'm not hard to find. Get my number off Peter Fury. I'll come and meet you. And I'll tell you that you are weapon of the week. I'll come and present you with a weapon. Yeah, that's you, Joe. A weapon. Weapon of the week. You should be embarrassed about that. I don't want to make it personal, but when I'm seeing kids getting flogged to death like that, and everybody in the arena is going like that, and you're the last man to see it, you're in the wrong game, mate, because you know what's going to happen? You're going to end up getting a fighter killed. That's an harsh thing to say. Touch what it doesn't happen. Guys like you get fighters killed. You leave them in there, like that Jay Diaz left Wilder in there, you leave them in there too long, hoping that they're going to get that one lucky shot. Scott Quigg, he's past his sell-by date. He's reached the top of the mountain, and he's, by hook or crook, a lot of it were by luck, right? He had a draw for a regular belt, but they give him, they give it, they let him all belt up. It were a draw. It were upgraded from interim to regular. Day before fight, he had a draw, and he held belt up. I'm not bothered about all that, that, Scott Quigg's overachieved, he's done well, he's got every ounce out in his career, he's tried his hardest, he's not sharp his toolkit box, and you've made him not even sharper with that performance from you in the corner of the night, Joe Gallagher. Leaves a bad taste in my mouth, that Tesco. So, weapon of the week, Joe Gallagher, what can I say? Alright, peace out, well, get out of this sight. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>